God and His children wear many hats. Do you know what it means to wear many hats? It means you have many different jobs or roles in life. Let's take your mom or dad as an example. If you skin your knee, ouch, your mom puts on her nurse hat to try to help your knee get better. It'll be okay, sweetie, be brave. But if you're trying to learn how to hit a baseball, your mom puts on her baseball cap to be your coach. Hey champ, keep your eye on the ball. If you're about to cross the street when you shouldn't, your mom puts on her policeman hat. Hey, do not cross the street without an adult helping you. So your mom, as one example, changes hats all day long. Making your food, chef hat. Cleaning, bandana. Explorer, explorer hat. Chemist, chemist hat. God and his children wear lots of hats too. In these stories, you'll hear God referred to as Yahweh, as Daddy, as Lord, as King, as Shepherd, as Deliverer. But each of those is a different name or description of the same God. And you'll hear God's people called His Bride, His Children, His Sheep, bah, His Family, His Army, His Nation, His City, His House, His Kingdom. But these words are all descriptions of the same people. It's kind of like if your name was Andrew, but people might call you Andrew, or Andy, or Drew, or Ange, or Dee, or Dad, or Pops, or whatever they want to call you. When you have a relationship with someone, many names and nicknames overflow in that relationship. And it's not just about what you know of that person, but it's how you feel about them too. Each of the different names describes different parts of the person's or people's character, but it's all the same person or people. Got it?